Welcome everyone. Today, we embark on an extraordinary journey through time, exploring one of the most mysterious artifacts known to mankind, the Spear of Destiny. This legendary weapon, also known as the Holy Lance, is said to possess incredible powers and has been the subject of countless legends, myths, and historical events. But before we get into today's video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you don't miss any future uploads. Now, let's get into today's video. The story of the Spear of Destiny begins in ancient times, during the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. According to Christian tradition, a Roman soldier named Longinus used a spear to pierce the side of Jesus as he hung on the cross. This act, as recorded in the Gospel of John, was said to confirm Jesus' death. The spear, now imbued with the blood of Christ, became an object of immense religious significance. The spear is often depicted in religious art, symbolizing the fulfillment of prophecies and the divine nature of Jesus. Over time, the legend grew, and the spear became a memorial relic in Christian history. Longinus, the soldier who wielded the spear, was said to have converted to Christianity after witnessing the miraculous events that followed Jesus' death. Longinus himself became a figure of legend, often depicted as a repentant sinner who found redemption through his encounter with the divine. According to some traditions, he was later put to death for his faith, and his story has been a source of inspiration for countless believers throughout the centuries. The spear, now known as the Holy Lance, was believed to hold the power of Christ's blood, a symbol of salvation and divine grace. The reverence for the spear grew as it was passed down through generations, becoming a powerful symbol of faith and the transformative power of divine intervention. Its journey through history would see it become a prized relic sought after by kings, emperors, and warriors, each hoping to harness its legendary power. Legends claim that the Spear of Destiny possesses extraordinary powers. It is said to grant its wielder invincibility, the ability to conquer nations, and even to alter the course of history. Throughout the centuries, many have sought to possess this powerful artifact, believing it could bestow divine favor and unique strength. One of the most compelling aspects of the Spear of Destiny is the belief that it can influence the outcome of battles. Many rulers and military leaders throughout history have been drawn to the Spear, hoping to harness its legendary power to secure their victories and expand their empires. In medieval Europe, the Spear was often linked with the divine right of kings. Monarchs who claimed to possess the Holy Lance were believed to have been chosen by God, their rules sanctified by this holy relic. This belief was not just a matter of faith, but also a powerful political tool, bolstering the authority of rulers and legitimizing their conquests. The spear's supposed power extended beyond the battlefield. It was believed to bring prosperity and stability to entire nations, ensuring the success and longevity of those who wielded it, its mystical aura contributing to the shaping of kingdoms and the rise of great leaders. From the Byzantine Empire to the Holy Roman Empire, the Spear of Destiny's influence can be seen in the annals of history. Its presence has been in courts of emperors and kings that reinforced their divine status and underscored the belief that their rule was ordained by a higher power. The Spear's legendary power and the desire to possess it have left an indelible mark on the history of Europe and beyond. The fascination with the Spear's power also led to various interpretations and stories. Some believe the Spear could bring disaster if misused, while others thought it could protect entire cities from harm. The Spear of Destiny has been associated with several prominent historical figures. Constantine the Great, the first Roman emperor to convert to Christianity, is said to have carried the spear into battle. His victory at the Battle of the Milvian Bridge in 312 AD, which paved the way for Christianity to become the dominant religion of the Roman Empire, is often attributed to the divine power of the spear dot, as well as Charlemagne, the great Frankish king and emperor of the Carolingian Empire, also claimed to possess the Spear of Destiny. His reign marked the unification of much of Western Europe, and he attributed his military successes and the stability of his empire to the Spear's influence. Charlemagne's use of the Spear was more than symbolic, it was integral to his identity as a ruler. The Spear was said to have been present at his coronation as Emperor of the Romans by Pope Leo I in 800 AD, a moment that solidified his authority and the rebirth of the Western Roman Empire. Another leader that wielded the spear was Frederick Barbarossa, the Holy Roman Emperor, 
was another famous owner of the spear. He believed it granted him divine authority and invincibility in battle. His campaigns and efforts to restore the Roman Empire's former glory were deeply influenced by his possession of the spear. Barbarossa carried the spear into numerous battles, believing it would protect him and ensure his victories. His reign was marked by a series of military campaigns aimed at consolidating his power and expanding the empire. The spear's presence was seen as a divine endorsement of his efforts, and its legendary power was invoked to rally his troops and inspire confidence. The Spear of Destiny's association with these powerful leaders highlights its role as a potent symbol of divine favor and authority. It served to legitimize their rule and inspire their followers, blending myth and reality in the pursuit of power. The Spear of Destiny's role in the formation of medieval and early modern Europe cannot be overstated. It was not merely a relic, but a source of inspiration and legitimacy for those who wielded it. One of the most chilling chapters in the history of the Spear of Destiny involves its connection to Adolf Hitler and the Nazi regime. Hitler, fascinated by the occult, and seeking to establish a thousand-year rake, believed that possessing the pair would grant him ultimate power. It is said that he seized the spear during the Anschluss of Austria in 1938 and displayed it prominently in the Hofburg Palace in Vienna. Hitler's obsession with the spear was part of his broader interest in mystical artifacts and their supposed powers. He believed that controlling the spear would ensure his success and the dominance of the Nazi regime. This belief was influenced by his fascination with the works of Heinrich Himmler, who shared Hitler's interest in the occult. The Nazis' interest in the occult and mystical artifacts was driven by their desire to legitimize their regime through the invocation of ancient and powerful symbols. The Spear of Destiny, with its rich history and legendary power, was seen as a key to unlocking unparalleled dominance. Hitler's belief in the Spear's power was not merely symbolic, he saw it as a tangible source of strength that could influence the outcome of the war. The presence of the spear in Nazi hands added a layer of menace and mystery to its already storied history. It became a symbol of the dark ambitions of the Nazi regime, their quest for power intertwined with ancient myths and legends. The spear's association with Hitler and the Nazis has left a lasting shadow over its legacy, a reminder of how myths can be co-opted for nefarious purposes. Hitler's fixation on the spear was part of a larger narrative within the Nazi ideology that sought to connect their regime to a grand and mystical past. The belief in the spear's power was intertwined with their racial theories and their vision of a new world order. The spear's dark legacy during this period serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of myth and the manipulation of history. As World War II came to an end, the fate of the Spear of Destiny became shrouded in mystery. American forces discovered the spear in a hidden vault in Nuremberg, but its authenticity was immediately called into question. Some believe the real spear had been hidden away, while others think it was destroyed during the chaos of the war. The spear found by American soldiers was later handed over to the Austrian government, and it is now displayed in the Hofburg Palace. However, many skeptics argue that the true spear of destiny was lost or hidden during the war, and what remains is merely a replica. The confusion surrounding the spear's fate has given rise to numerous theories and speculations. Some believe that the Nazis hid the real spear in a secret location, hoping to use it in the future to regain power. Others suggest that it was smuggled out of Europe and remains in the possession of a private collector or hidden in a remote monastery. The mystery of the spear's disappearance has only added to its legend, with treasure hunters and conspiracy theorists alike drawn to the enigma. The possibility that the true Spear of Destiny remains hidden somewhere fuels the imagination and drives the search for this elusive artifact. The Spear's uncertain fate is a testament to its enduring allure and the power of myth to captivate and inspire. The Spear's disappearance also reflects the broader chaos and destruction of World War II. Valuable artifacts and treasures were lost or displaced during the war, adding to the complexity of historical research and the challenge of piecing together the past. The mystery of the Spear of Destiny's fate is emblematic of the larger narrative of loss and recovery that characterizes the aftermath of the war. Today, the Spear of Destiny continues to captivate historians, theologians, and conspiracy theorists alike. Several artifacts claim to be the true Holy Lance, but none have been definitively proven to be the original. 
Museums in Vienna, Krakow, and Rome each display a spear believed to be the Spear of Destiny, adding to the intrigue and controversy. That wraps up today's video, everyone. If you enjoyed exploring this exploration of the Spear of Destiny, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to turn on all notifications so you won't miss any of our future uploads. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep the mystery alive.